Hey y'all. So I haven't done a vlog of any kind in like a hot minute. And so I thought, why not? Let's just talk state of the state. I had a video all ready for today and I just decided I'll save it for later. And I just want to chat about things that are going on right now and um, maybe you can relate to them, some art related. And then also I'm gonna do a haul of some uh, plus size um, thrift clothes from a swap and so I will link the time down below um, if you just want to go to that and just look at the cool stuff I got in the swap that is linked below um, so right now I am currently sick I'm in the middle of my cluster migraine um, it tends to run from three weeks to five weeks um, severe pain uh, pain gets up to a seven or eight I can't help but cry um, it's just that painful. I just start crying. There's nothing I can do about it. And it wasn't until recently in the last couple months that I was even diagnosed correctly. Until now, people had, and specialists, everybody had diagnosed me with migraines. And they were just giving me medication after medication and nothing worked. And I decided this year that this would be the year I would figure it out. This would be the year that I would figure out what's wrong. And thank God I did but it's also been a really expensive year because of that. Um, I've doubled my medical savings and that ran out in June. So um, it's been a really expensive year, but I think we're on the right track. I think we figured it out. And if you check out my Instagram, you probably see a post about um, me being on oxygen. And it seems to be helping. It seems to really be helping. It, um, I take ox oxygen treatments about 10 minutes at a time. And what it does is it seems to be a immediate halt of the immediate symptoms so that current migraines or headache stops. And it also, I think it's really helping with the severity. Um, I'm crying a lot less with the headaches, which is awesome. And yeah, so I'm really hoping that everything goes good with that and it's, it's just progress. Um, but one thing I've really discovered is I had a long stretch where I, I felt really good recently and I got back to creating things and I realized damn like creating things really is self-care for me um, with my hands being creative making art making paper art it really is self-care and by not having the energy just daily to even get out of bed to make art like that, um, I was kind of compounding the problem. Um, not only did I feel well, or didn't feel well, then I didn't feel good about things I wasn't getting accomplished, plus I wasn't fulfilling that need I have for making things. And it, it just spiraled, it's just all horrible. And this last month, I spent some time making some stuff, and oh my god, I just, I really had an epiphany about it. It was, it was wonderful. I was just like, oh my god, I have to take time, and I have to try to make things uh, again. Um, I was inspired to make a piece for um, a poet that I love. Um, her name is Cleo Wade, and I made her a paper art piece. I will link the blog post about it below. Um, I'll put the piece right here. So I made this piece. Um, I don't have it anymore. I actually gave it to her at um, an event I got to see her speak at. And I hope she likes it. Um, she said in a post online that it was already on the way to her California home. So um, yeah, just making that just I felt I felt so much energy and I just felt so good to get something out and it just, I was like, oh my god, I've really been missing this. Um, and also, um, I scrapbooked. Um, scrapbooking is one of my favorite things to do. So I finished this book. It's my newest one. I think it's my 13th scrapbook. Um, and just like, I'm, I'm a couple years behind on scrapbooking so it, it just, you know, everything's not quite up to date but like just just getting just getting these pages done just finishing all of this oh it was just it just felt so good to get everything finished and to feel like 
you know, like I caught up, you, you know, when you feel like you're behind on things, like you haven't caught up with the things you need to do. That's how I felt. You know, I just felt like I wasn't caught up with things, you know, and just to get it all done, just, ugh, it felt so good, you know, just creating something and making something. And I really realized like creating things is self care. Like I need to create things. And I need to be mindful of that even when I feel sick, even when I feel like I don't want to get out of bed. And right now I am not working on my book. Um, it's been about two weeks since I last worked on it. I just, I don't feel well. And when I don't feel well, I can't write, I can't think. Um, writing is really hard for me and it's not something that comes natural in my creative process. So I just, I can't work on the book right now. Um, so that's TBD on when I'll get it done. Um, yeah, and this weekend I'm just having a weekend for myself. So um, the next part of this video is going to be the, the, the clothes I got at the swap, the haul, and um, I hope you enjoy it. I showed most of everything I got. I didn't show items that didn't fit um, and items that I'll be donating to the swap again. Um, the swap is called the Big Fat Super Swap and I'll link to their Facebook page. And it's an amazing, amazing thing that's in the Minneapolis Twin Cities area. Um, great for plus size, great for people like me who love thrifting for clothes. Um, and man, I got some great fall staples that I'm gonna wear all fall. So I hope you enjoy the next part of the video. It's gonna be that haul. So I'm taking three fairly decent sized bags to the swap. You can see they're kind of sturdier ones too. They're not like just your average reusable bags. They're nice and sturdy. And so my hope for the day, kitty, <laughs> my hope for the day is to get some clothes I need. And what I need is cardigans and things to layer for work, um, work shirts um, and leggings or jeans. Um, what I don't need is dresses and skirts. And I always manage to buy dresses and skirts. So let's hope I get what I need and come back with some good stuff. Right, kitty? Yeah. Okay, bye. Well, so I'd say I did pretty well. Hey, kitty. So these cute shoes are Express. And then this is a Calvin Klein. And look at that cute shoulder detail. Ah, cute. And then... This tank top is torrid, super cute. You know, it's that boho kind of feel. Thought all these together was kind of a mood. Three pairs of torrid leggings. Um, these are capri length, these two are full length, which are great for the winter. And then this pair of leggings that has like lace over the top. And these are Marisa's. So all this is great for work and all of this is stuff I needed. So these things are the type of things I really needed from the swap. They're warm, cozy items that I can layer for work and I really needed some sweaters for the upcoming winter. So this is a really cute cardigan with the three quarter length sleeve and a really great royal. This is a really cute cardigan sweater and you know it's got those nice long cuffs you know so you can kind of bury your thumbs in them. And this sweater was so cute. It's a little v-neck and then the sleeves have this great detail. That's perfect. And then this was a super find. This is one of those chenille, hey baby. This is one of those um, chenille sweaters um, and it's like the crop ones. Hey, little miss approved. Come on baby, move, 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 move. Whoop. And it's got that great like, you know, that cute detail running down the middle. And I was just looking at one of these. I was gonna buy it for like 30 bucks and I found one. Yay! Okay, so this is one of my total wins from the swap. It's this blue, cute little tunicky piece. Um, and it has like this cute little faux leather detail pockets and nice little slits on the side. Totally adorable. Um, I styled it with a belt to give it like a little more shape because it was very drapey. Um, and then I gave it a long necklace and oh, I just love this. And then I'm also wearing um, a pair of the torn leggings that I got with it. 
and um, just styled it with a pair of boots that I actually got from Cake like a year ago. So um, this is a total win from the swap. I love, love this one. So this is that great white sweater cardigan I showed you before, and this is exactly what I want to wear to work. And it has the nice sleeves, so your thumbs kind of are buried. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so this sweater is an absolute stunner, and it has like this little cutout, which I can like feature a necklace in there, which I think is so cool. And if you look, it, it's kind of like, it's like a see-through knit. So it's got like the major Christina Ricci Casper vibes going on and it's kind of witchy and perfect for fall and oh, it's just wonderful. Okay, so this next one is this really nice and long flowy dress. It is just adorable. And then I put this little cardigan little guy that I got there over it and just some simple jewelry and then I got this cuff and bracelet there at the swap as well. So it's just, it's perfect. It's a perfect cool fall outfit. I love it so much. Last, but absolutely not least, is this beautiful long dress and this adorable twisty cardi. I mean, come on, it's perfect for fall. Hi, sweetie. You think it's perfect for fall? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Um, so what I just love about the swap is like I work for a nonprofit and so money's always tight and I just find the perfect things and you know shopping for secondhand items is really important to me and I just I love it. Now I did have six items that didn't fit me that I got from the swap and so those will get donated back for next time. And what's actually really awesome is most of the items that didn't fit were like summery tank tops. So by the time the next swap comes around in the summer, they'll be perfect for that. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed all of it. Um, I, I'm having a great weekend. I'm having a self-care weekend and I might film some more videos. I might not. I would love if you would subscribe or give me a like or just talk about the things I've talked about in this video. Um, self-care, artist self-care, um, are you dealing with any kind of illness? Um, what do you think of the cute clothes I got today? Um, anyways, I got to go. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.